Let's start with what is collage animation. It's a type of animation which consists of a mixture of real photographs and illustration. Well, imagine you have a big box of colorful papers, scissors and glue. What if I told you with that these simple things you can make pictures come to life? Just like your favorite cartoons, right? That's what collage animation is all about. These are the some examples which you can see over here on your screen, which explains collage animation. And now, here's a secret ingredient for that. We cut out different parts of the colorful paper to make characters, objects, or backgrounds. Just like a puzzle, we can move these pieces around to create amazing scenes. Now, picture this. You have a piece of blue paper for the sky, a green one for the grass, and a cute red circle for the sun. By moving them bit by bit, you can make the sun rise, move across the sky, and set. That's like a mini movie right there, right? So that is what sets collage animation apart. Stop motion is sort of what comes under collage or cutout animation. Because stop motion have some principles. And not just that, other animation techniques or tricks also have some principles and rules to follow. But the great thing about cutout or collage animation is that it doesn't have any rules. It can be as abstract as you want, as interesting as you want, and you can do literally anything with it. Let's come to the next point first. Remember those flip books you made by doodling in the corners of your notepad? Collage animation takes that to the digital big leaks. When we flip those digital pages quickly, in our case, all the frames, so in the first frame, this is our first page and obviously the last frame is our last page and to flip our flip book we just have to play this play button and as you can see if you have some motion to your objects you will have some animation just like this this is what collage animation is all about and according to me it's the best sort of you can say animation because as i told you that it doesn't contain any sort of rules or principles that we have to follow you can make your own rules you can create anything literally anything now let's head up to some examples or let's learn how to do this sort of cutout or collage animation shall we the software which i'm using is obviously the windows of fusion because I think that there is, this is where my expertise are, so that's why. It's, it doesn't depend, actually, I'll just basically tell you the whole concept here, and then you can just do whatever you want. Okay, use any software. Software doesn't matter, tools doesn't matter, your skills does. And first of all here, as you can see, I have the simple plain background. Alright, then we have another background. But in this background, I have this polygon. And the windshield result users might be wondering that with this polygon, I was able to create a perfect uh, circle mask. How's that? Well, if you select this polygon and right click anywhere in the viewer and in this polygon one poly line, if you come here on to create, you have these two options, which is ellipse and rectangle. That means if you click on it, you can create your own perfect ellipse or rectangle also. Okay. And after that, we have this background and then it has been transformed. Okay, so there's no modifier in it. And then with the help of green, we were able to add some texture to it. Okay, which is some sort of characteristics you can say is for uh, collage or cutout animation that the objects in it or the cutout pieces have some textures to it. And then, yeah, just merge those out. Very simple, right? Then in the next one, we have this image. This is a basic hand image. I keyed that out with this Luma key node. Then with this brightness contrast, I just decreased its saturation to zero. Then I resized it because as you can see that this canvas is really small as compared to our timeline canvas, which is 1920 by 1080. So this resize node, I have checked this auto resolution and yeah, it's resized. That's it. Then in the transform, I have some settings. In this transform particularly, I came to my first page, again, talking in the terms of explaining you guys easily so that it will be easier for you. So I come to my first page, which is our first frame, zero, 
and then add some keyframes on my center values and as well as on angle values then i came to the fourth frame because as i know that 24 fps uh, makes one second in my timeline as you can see over here also if i go to project settings and you can click on this gear icon and here you can see time resolution 1920 by 1080 okay but in this fusion we have different settings so you can come to this fusion fusion settings and here you can see frame format default format is 1080 1920 by 1080 and frame it is 24 seconds all right then you can save it obviously yeah coming back to our node graph so in this transform i just did this and also changed some angle values so that it looks something like this okay i think this is very basic then i again color corrected it okay matched it to look alike to our background that's what looking something like this and in this transform i added this uh, per tube modifier by right clicking on the center mo modifier with and you can choose per tube or shake whatever you like okay just to get some movement but then i thought that we don't need movement on this hand so right now we have a result like this looking pretty good right then forget these nodes these nodes were just added to make things better but it didn't help me out and it even made things worse as you can see i was trying to add a newspaper cutout but there's a tip for you never ever add a plain white newspaper image okay try to get some saturation or color in it then in this one i did something like this but also this also didn't work out so yeah we will talk about this later then in this polygon as you can see we have some shapes well what is that let me first show you the image of it and if i remove this polygon you can see how it's looking so basically i have this image okay and in this polygon as you can see i have masked all the cuttings of this buildings basically and if i enable this polygon you can see what i have and because of the soft edge we are getting those soft edges if i remove this to zero then you can see they are hard we should keep it hard because obviously cutout animation works like this but you know take the benefit of digitalism then with the help of brightness contrast i again decrease its saturation well i have connected this polygon mask to my brightness contrast and why is that if i show this to you just for a quick moment if i remove this mask from here it will affect the whole image okay the soft edge also but i don't want that i want a hard cut out then i took that and put it into the mask now as you can see well that is great and then again coming to this color character with the help of this color character taking my whatever this is called master wheels and then taking those two oranges and yellows and then again transforming my image with the help of uh per tube modifiers as i told you clicking on the center value right click here and go to modify with and you can choose another per tube and i play with the values with those per tube per tube 3 per tube 2 it's totally up to you doing the same thing with the angle values and now if i play then we will have something like this looking great right but yeah so this is how it will look with the single transform but again i uh, needed some sort of movement like this hand because that was looking great and yeah whatever looks great should be added in our cutout animation so what i did was added in the transform you can add any node by hitting shift or space bar and this transform short form is xf sorry xf and you can see the transform node is there hit enter and that will be added automatically then the another thing which i did was added this uh newspaper cutout image as i told you earlier also and then added this rectangle and also animated of it so what i did was basically i came to this 10th frame and here as you can see width is zero and then on the 20th frame the width is something like this so i basically increase the width so that we have uh this sort of movement if i play this to you yeah something like this we will have a better transition in the future videos because as i told you we are practicing cut out a collage animation basically and in the only one video i cannot explain all the effects and 
uh, transitions and everything to you guys okay like the half tone effect which is used in these and why we have to decrease the saturation and all of that kind of stuff we'll be experimenting we will be making a whole series about it and then experimenting everything okay then again with the help of this transform on center and angle values what it was right click over here maybe i connected to the party one okay so you can if you already have a modifier and you want to connect it to that modifier so you, instead of choosing modifier with you have to choose connect to and then you can select your uh, preferred modifier then again let's hit control f to the viewers to fit it to the screen and now if i'll play you can see it is looking something like this i think i should change its angle values because it's pretty much same to the building so what i can do is remove per tube 2 yeah i think that is it i don't want any angle changes on this like this building then lastly i have this background and see in cutout collage animation as i told that it's totally abstract and you can add anything which just makes your image look much better so i took this background okay and this was a white plain background then i added this polygon mask on it okay you can add like this and what i did was i uncheck this solid if i'll check this solid then it wouldn't have worked and uncheck the solid and i have increased the border width so because of that we have this sort of line and let me just fit it to the view and also played with its length and position well how's that if its position and length was one which is one by default position is zero and length is one this is the setting by default all right so what i did was i made both of these zero so basically i decreased the length to zero then on the 10th frame what i did was i increased i added another keyframe on its length and position to zero then on the 15th keyframe i increased its length okay to something like this then over here as you can see on 60th keyframe i just make its position to one which basically completes this path so i have this path which our polygon is following so now if i help play as you can see it will follow this path okay so this is the benefit of using this software fusion which is node based and you can do all the changes anytime you want okay so you can do stuff like this if you want to i'll do that and yeah with just playing the position in lens settings we were able to get something like this you can see these basically do the lines work which is really nice doing the same thing just above here okay so we have these both lines what we can do is basically we can create an instance of this node but that will remove its polyline so yeah we shouldn't we should not do that instead what we can do is we can play with it like we can add expressions uh, to control both of these simultaneously and well lastly adding stop motion because like what cut out animation is and cut out animation without the stop motion so if i enable this and play this from the beginning i think it's not working yeah because we don't have that enabled okay so this is this cut out animation with stop motion enabled okay so this was the pretty pretty basic of stop motion animation or collage animation whatever you want to call it in which the basics are you just take any images you take bunch of images cut those out with the help of masks okay desaturate them with color it's totally up to you if you want to desaturate or not okay then add some lines or abstract stuff to get a bit of background and lastly add some movements to the images to obviously uh make them alive so that's how you do collage or cut out animation of course it's not completed and i haven't told you how to do all of this i have just gave a brief uh, breakdown about it and also told you what it is so you can say this is just a 
video for explaining this that this is collage animation so i hope that you got a nice idea about it what is collage animation and what is it about and all of its characteristics features and advantages of this art obviously just for the solo artist it's really easy to animate any sort of stuff okay you have the full freedom of doing anything so you have much creativity which you can use in it i hope that you have a good explanation so this was basic introduction about collage animation in the upcoming videos i'll be showing you how you can create this particular specific this uh, animation because i have recorded all these clips also okay but first you need to have some introduction about it so that's why i did this and yeah in the upcoming ones i'll tell you how to create half tone effect how to use those transform tools in order to change the position of it first of all how to create cutouts like these okay so yeah you can use basically polygon for that also create that newspaper y uh, paper scrumpled kind of effect okay scrumpled paper and all of those things so you can do all of those so yeah that's what we should for this one i hope you like this one and if you did then you know you know what to do you know the drill okay so yeah just do all of that and yeah if you want to know a uh, vfx we can all how i composited a ufo and my clouds so you can watch this video and if you want to know how you can do typography you can watch this playlist thank you so much